where today we're in the amazing digital circus. That's right, we have got ourselves a new game, a new RP of the popular TV show so far. By that, I mean the one episode of the pilot, which clearly is going to develop into a season and a series soon. And we are joined with quite a few people, as you can see, they're all here waiting anxiously to see what's in the rest of this game. And straight away, the biggest thing that I will say that I see here is how colorful and bright this place is. Now, what's actually also a bonus with this place is there's not much to it just yet. It's still being developed, but there is some characters that we've got in here that we haven't got in the other games, which it makes it extra exciting. I can see that I got Twisted running ahead. He's gonna check it out before us. But look at this, the entrance is Kane's mouth, which clearly is gonna be a safe thing, right? Of course it is. Always run into people's mouths with sharp teeth like that. But straight away, I can see we got ourselves a tiny circus in front of us, which uh, I think we can just run into the door. I stand corrected. You can't run into the door. Fortunately, there is a teleport menu on the left-hand side. But before we leave this area, I just want to quickly check it out to see if there's anything that we need to collect or get or just, you know, not miss before. Oh, dear. That's an abstracted. Why is that here already? How? Who is the abstracted? Now I can see Quack is screaming, running away. Uh, oh, we made it to a dead end. What even is this? Let's hit this button and we've got ourselves the lobby, the circus, upstairs and cave. So if we click circus, it makes a noise, but nothing happens just yet. But if we click upstairs, as we're running into it, look at the size of this place. It is huge. And actually in a way that when we saw it outside, it's very, very different. Now... From what I remember in the video, this would lead to the hallway, which is... Oh, it's not an option yet. But this would be the hallway, which has all of the bedrooms for where they stay. And this is where the abstracted came out, destroyed the wall, landed down here where Sonic Doll's gone, and starts chasing Pomni around. But I can see Quackers has managed to somehow get much further ahead. And to be honest, this is actually such a big, big place where you teleported a circus. Hang on, it works? Hang on, wait, 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 wait. So for the teleport for the circus to work, you have to go upstairs and then click circus. And then it works. What? That's confusing. At least we know how to use it because Quack has figured it out. Now, we have got one more place to look at, which is the cave. Now, I'm going to assume this is where all the gloinks are. And I think you've got the gloink queen uh, normally lives in here. I don't think it's in this game, though. Just laying there, chilling out. But it does actually make me think, what morphs have we got in this game? I want to check out Kofmo, as this is the first game I have seen with this as a model. Now, we don't get to see much of Kofmo in the actual video itself, because by the time we get to the room and see... Well, to actually go and meet him, he basically turns into this thing that someone has become behind me. The abstracted, the creepy eye looking creature thing before it gets taken down into the cellar. Kofmo is meant to be quite a happy character that's really friendly and obsessed with the exit. That's right. That's the reason it gets turned into this kind of creepy looking creature. It's because a bit like Pomni, he took it one step too far and got too obsessed with the exit for getting out of this wonderful, colorful place. Now, I can see what you're wondering. What is worse than one abstracted? Well, I can tell you, it is having a bunch of them. Look at this. I think we got three or four in the server at the moment. And I will say, even though we had another game with the abstracted on it, I have noticed that the animation on this one was like all the black cubes and triangles kind of going around the outside is really detailed and quite smooth for the animations. But while I'm saying this, I've realized I have like four or five chasing me. And if they do touch me, I'm going to turn into a glitch. And this one will actually turn into the real abstracted as expected. Uh, ah, I spoke too soon. I am one of them. Obviously, this game is in early beta at the moment. And it's going to be really cool to see how it develops. But there is another game that we have played, which has had an update, which includes an area we haven't discovered yet in any of these other amazing digital circuses games. So I think we should head over there to check that out. And I can show you what is new. And like that, we very quickly head over to the next game to see the update they've released in here. And I can see this game actually has Jax as well. But right now, we are joined with Quackers and Sonic Doll. Murple is just checking our exit room, which takes you to the void, as we know, because we did that in the last video. So he's just gone through here to make it to the end, which actually, actually, benefit of that is when he gets back, if I head out in this new menu and go to the morph room, you will see that he will have access to the abstracted and also the cardboard cutout 
of Cosmo. And I can't believe it's a cardboard cutout. Why is it that? Why didn't they make a model? But wait, hang on. Crackers are saying go to the main map. I found something. Oh, okay. So we go back to the main map. Then Quackers is... Uh, oh, he's, he's going somewhere. Oh, okay, we're on the stage. Where are you taking me? Hang on. Are we allowed through there? Oh, I remember seeing this last time. It's a floating cane with his mouth closed. Oh, wait. I didn't notice that. It's a floating head of Pomni. What? Although there's this thing behind me which just made a whole bunch of music. And to unlock it, you've got to complete a challenge given by an owner of the game. And clearly, Quackers is absolutely loving this music. Look at him go. What is that? Yeah, he loves it. This is it. Okay, well, while Quackers is having the time of his life, and now Murple's joined us and also going to join in, clearly he's going to love the music. Okay, I, I, I was right. He does like it. Well, that's cool. So it looks like we've now lost Quackers and Murple to the music kind of being played by that. And uh, yeah, obviously having a quick look, all of these are still the same. There is no Kofmo yet, apart from this cardboard cutout that we checked out last time. But if I bring up this menu very quickly, you can see we've got the main map. We've got the hallway, which, hey, this is actually quite a bit bigger than what I remember. Although, can we go through any of the doors? Because I can see there's like one over here for Pomni that's got her face on it. Uh, oh, I can't get in the door. Neither can Quackers. So what's the point of this if we can't go? <gasps> oh, what? Wait, what the? Oh, I never noticed this. This is creepy. Look at it. It's got a glitch effect on the bookshelf. And also on the bed. Oh, this is pretty cool. I love the effect that they've used. <gasps> Murple is going to do some parkour. I wonder if he's going to find any secrets. So on the other game we played recently, there is a secret room if you get up to this section up there. And this one, I'm not too sure. But I can see Murple has done a very good job climbing. Well, you know what? This is only one of the rooms and it's cough mode. So it's actually pretty cool to see a room that you can go into, which means... We tried to get into Pomni's and that was a no-go. We got into Kofmo's, that was a yes-go. But yeah, there's nothing else to see here. So let's bring up the menu again and check out the void. Now, this has definitely improved from what I remember. This is actually pretty cool. I think you could easily get lost in this place because if it's actually quite vast. But yeah, instead of getting lost in this place, let's head on to the next one, which actually surprises me that they've made, which is the diner. So if you remember this bit, in the video of when Kane gets an alert to say that Pomni has managed to escape into the void and uh, obviously has become very overwhelmed and a bit lost. He quickly goes out there, brings her back to the main lobby, and at that point manages to control the abstractive Kofmo by taking him into, and you guessed it, we have the new location for where he went to in this place, in this game. But before we head there, I just want to double check. There's no little secrets or little, like, Easter eggs in this map. I mean, there's a whole bunch of mannequins everywhere. Did the video have mannequins sat in this room around Kane and the person that he was talking to? Merv will say, yeah, but hey, wait, what have you found? <gasps> Has he found a gap in the walls? Is he going to try and fit through it? Wait, are you kidding me? Ha what? They got out. How did they get out? Oh, I want to get through. Mobile saying that I'm too fat. My head's too big to fit through. So Quackers is advising to turn the shift lock on. And um, yeah, basically just do this. Oh my goodness. That actually worked. That is actually so surprising. So that's how Quackers managed to get through. And to be fair, my massive head managed to get through. So if I can get through, you guys can too. Which means we can now explore outside of the diner. And I'll be honest, there's not much out here as I thought there would be. I was expecting a little bit more. But again, you're not really meant to be able to get out here, right? It's just that we kind of crept through the door. So Merple is saying that he's found the extracted outside of the wall. So I've got shift lock on so I can try and get the camera through the wall. And just like that, if I zoom out, hey, I can see it. It's literally just there. Oh, that's pretty cool. But it does remind me, we need to get to the new area of where the abstracted go to when Kane discovers that they've turned and yeah, they gotta be dealt with. So we had to teleport and you can see we are now in the cellar. There's nothing creepy about this place or scary, right? Look at all of these eyes of the ginormous abstracted that have been put here beforehand. And we got ourselves Murple and wait, what's that? Hang on, are you, is that really an abstracted? I thought they were all kind of asleep at this point. Well, the Murple side, that's scary though. I mean, it is quite scary. Although as long as that one over there stays where it is, I'm quite happy that we're going to be safe and okay, Murple. So as long as he doesn't move and he doesn't get near us, we should be okay. So we need to figure out how to get out of the cellar because I remember from the video 
You have to kind of use Kane to get you out. What do you mean behind you? He's closer. I don't know what you mean, Murple. He's miles away. Look. Um, is he actually genuinely closer? Murple, I think you're just worrying over nothing. It's absolutely fine. Honest. He's miles and miles away from us. We are safe as can be. Uh, well, as you can be in this creepy looking cellar. <laughs> What's that, Murple? What are you saying, Apple? You sure he's far away? Yeah, he was literally ages and ages away. I mean, I know you're creeping away right now, but like, look at there. Why did he get so close? I hear they kind of catch you on movement. So if I don't move, I should be okay, right? Murple, please help me. I don't know what to do. I got a creature behind me. Oh, Murple's being really brave. Good dog. Wait, what? What? Why is he all about good dog? He doesn't know this is abstracted, right? These are big, ferocious creatures that make you glitchy and broken. It's responding with the doggy emoji. Maybe they are just big dogs. Maybe I missed something here. Oh, I don't know. But I think we need to escape before it gets evil. Okay, guys, that's where we leave the video today. If you like, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. You have done so leave it. Super appreciated. And we will catch you in the next video. Remember to boot the snoop. Bye!